And now I wanted to mention this for someone maybe who doesn't necessarily do this uh, automatically through Schoology. Like, like the Google assignment app will allow you to make a copy for each student. Kami will also allow you to make a copy for each student. But if you're not a teacher or if you don't use those types of assignments, then uh, if you use Schoology's built-in assignment, it doesn't give you the ability to make a copy for all of your students. So I'm going to give you a couple of ways that you can make a copy for all of your students. Now, what I've taught people in the uh, past is to go into their Google Doc or go into their Google Slides presentation and replace the word edit at the top. All right, so let's say I was in this document right here. This is a Google Slides presentation. And I went right into where it ends in the word um, edit. So I'm looking for edit here. And there's the word edit right there. So I'm going to backspace until I see the word edit. And there you go. So you can see the word edit. All I have to do now is just get rid of that word and replace it with the word copy. Just C-O-P-Y. And now if I hit enter, I'm going to get this copy document. So what's cool about this is now you can share this with any of your coworkers, uh, maybe other teachers. Um, they don't want to steal your document, but they might want to make a copy uh, so that they can go in and edit their own version. All they have to do now is click make a copy and they can go in and edit the document and make it their own. So Schoology does this automatically when you use the Google Drive Assignments app but it doesn't automatically do it if you do a Schoology assignment. Now, here's another way. Now, what I don't like about this is you can't see the document ahead of time. You can't just go in and see what the template looks like. So I've got a fix for that as well. I'm going to backspace again over where the word copy was. Originally, it was the word edit, and I'm going to type in template slash preview. So the difference is instead of typing the word copy, this time, you're going to type the word template slash preview. Now press enter, and you get this. This is what I like better about this. You actually get to see the first page of the slideshow, and you get use template. Click on the use template button, and you'll be able to make your own copy, and you will be able to edit that particular template. So it literally is now a template where you can go in and actually see the first page and, uh, and now make it your own. So it's a couple of different ways that you can make something your own or, or share it with your colleagues and not have them destroy your original. Now, if I wanted to go back to my original, I will backspace over template slash preview, type in edit, and now I have the editable version of that slide presentation. Or if it was a Google Doc, you'd have the Google Doc.